What is going on, Washington fans? It is a great day. I'm coming at you with my post-game reaction to the Wizards finally getting a dub and moving on to 3-8 and eight against the Phoenix Suns, who are now 7-4, and four, and they won 107-128, blowout fashion, won by 21 points, and man, oh man, what a win by the Wizards. You know, Russell Westbrook is going to be out for this week with a quad injury, and Thomas Bryant towards ACL, so he's going to be out for the year, which sucks because he was having a career year when it comes to points. He was being really efficient. But nonetheless, the Wizards won today against a really good Phoenix Suns team, and, you know... It was crazy. I mean, Raul Neto started for Russell Westbrook. And again, this guy, 16 points, 2 assists, 2 rebounds. Played great. Rui had 10 points, 9 rebounds, 3 assists. Pretty nice game. Danny had 6, 5, and 1. Robin Lopez provided a good spark as well. He started for us 11 points and 11 rebounds and 2 assists. Bradley Beal, just another great game. A near triple-double. 34 points, 8 rebounds, 9 assists. This guy better be an all-star this year. Yeah, Davis Bertans, he had 18 points, 2 rebounds, 2 assists. Mo Wagner had nine rebound, 6 rebounds and 9 points. That was nice to see. Garrison Matthews, he's getting missed. He played 21 minutes today. Had 11 points, 3 rebounds, 2 assists. Ish Smith had 6, 6, and 3. So overall, the, uh, offensively, like I've been saying the past, like literally the start of the season, we can score. It's just our defense. And when it comes to our defense, defensively, we played great tonight against a Phoenix Sun team who have great scorers. By Devin Booker and DeAndre and, and Chris Paul. And we only allowed them to score 15 points in the first quarter. That was pretty, that was, that was really impressive to see. I don't know what's going on with Scott Brooks. I don't know because there was a report coming out that he's on the hot seat if the Wizards don't turn it up or something. And I guess he's like, well, I got to start coaching. But the Wizards played great defense, only allowing 15 points in the first quarter and just. They were up by, I think, 30 at one point or 25. It was just a blowout in the beginning. We shot 52.2% from the field, 41, 44% from the uh, three-point line. Again, free throws, we were 60% 60, 60 from the free throw line. It was 61%, 60.7. 17 of 28. We got to fix that, man. We got to be a better free throw shooting team. And for the Suns, they shot 4 of 27 from three, which is 15%. That was great defense by us. Not allowing them to shoot the shoot us out the park and it was nice to see us play defense it's good it's good when you can score a lot and also play defense you know complimentary basketball and when it comes to rebounds we out, re re out rebounded them by nine so again that was nice to see it's gonna be interesting to see how the center position plays out i'm pretty sure in the future we will not have to draft one or maybe sign one in free agency thomas brown looked really promising but if he was just a better defender i would really like would have solidified him as our center for the future but then again he got hurt so we'll see how that goes <sighs> but man it's another great game by the wizards for the suns uh devin booker had 33 points chris ball at 14 11 and 5 dario sarge at 13 6 and 1 mikhail bridges 14 2 and 5 so it was just an impressive win by this wizard squad and i didn't expect us to win this game to be honest like the way we were playing defense and the, it's just atrocious and a lot of people are saying that we play better without Westbrook I don't agree with that but we'll see man we have the Jazz tomorrow <sighs> we gotta win this game to see if we can, we can be a consistent team we have Donovan Butcher Donovan Butcher Den Donovan Mitchell Rudy Gobert uh what's his name the uh, Joe Ingles they have they have a nice squad so hopefully we, we get the dub against them, and I'll make a post-game reaction to that. But, yes, the Wizards get the dub. They move on to 3-8, and eight, no longer the worst team in the NBA. Hopefully, we can change things around, and Scott Brooks starts coaching, and we start playing defense. I don't know, man. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more Wizards content and watch the football team content. But that's pretty much it, guys. Peace. Wizards get the dub, and I'm sleeping happy. Have a nice night.